Hello everybody! Today we're filming a nursery tour! Hey! The nursery is finally clean for the first time in a very long time, so this is the moment. It's taken a while to get everything together, but finally got most of it. Also, I wanted to just squeeze a Q&A into this video to answer some of your questions and tell you all what's been up. You ready? Hey, so let's answer their questions. So here we have the lovely crib. Hazel is still getting used to it. She still likes to sleep with mama. She slept in it a few times. It's kind of weird how cribs kind of literally look like jail so. She's not used to her crib yet. Okay, now I'm going to answer a question. Okay, first question, somebody asked, what is the hardest thing about being a mama or motherhood? I got a few questions like that. I mean, I'm sure, you know, I'm just still in the beginning, so there's gonna be more struggles, but I think definitely at first it was, and still is, you kind of lose who you are for a bit. Like everything that I thought I was or knew who I was kind of shifted really fast. And then like my life now, revolves around taking care of another human being which I love but that's definitely an adjustment is like losing the kind of the person you were before you had a baby and trying to find that person again even your thoughts like I'm always like worried about Hazel or what's her next thing it's hard to like think about myself sometimes and like remember like okay I'm a person, I like to do this, I like to eat that or do things like that and I guess it's like a balance. I'm trying to find myself again. Also, by the way, this sign, I've been waiting to get it, was from a girl on Etsy. I'm gonna link her below, but she makes these custom signs. She can make them bigger, smaller. I thought it was really cool. And then this thing was actually Spencer's mom made it during Hazel's baby shower. This was up there. It was like a decor thing and I was like, oh my God, can I please have that for the nursery? That's perfect, I need that. And she gave it to me, so thank you for that. Shifting onwards. I decided, why don't I make myself an office? Like, does this whole room really need to be dedicated to Hazel? We have a two bedroom apartment. It's not huge, so I would like an office space. And I thought this was a really good idea and I saw some other videos where moms were doing it because I'm already in here and it actually works out perfectly. So I'll be like sitting. I usually have my computer over here and like some of my stuff. And then Hazel will be playing on the floor and playing with all her toys over there. So it actually worked out like better than I thought at first. I was like, oh, I don't wanna like cram in a desk into here and ruin it, but I just made it cute. And now it's like I can be working mama while just like watching over her. I highly recommend that if you want to have like a little office space, just put it in the nursery. How about that? Okay, so I need to address this question since everyone asks and it's basically like 70% of my comments. Where's Chloe? Is Chloe coming back? What's Chloe doing? Is Chloe making a YouTube channel? Tell Chloe to come back to YouTube. So I just want to kind of say I cannot just tell Chloe to come back to YouTube. Hi. For those who don't know, Chloe is my sister. But I feel like most of you know. She is happy. She is working on music right now. She hasn't come out with it yet, but she's really just giving herself a break. She's also been doing YouTube for like 10 years, so she needs a break. And it's not like she's gone, people. She's gonna be coming out with music. She's still gonna be in your life, just in a different format. So I feel like I get a lot of people telling me, tell Chloe to come back, and it's just kind of, I know you miss her, but she's not gonna come back by you saying, tell her to come back on my channel. She's made her decision. She's happy. I get a lot of you have been following her for years. I get it. So I'm not like mad about it, but I'm just saying there's not much I can really do. So you might want to stop saying tell Chloe to come back to YouTube on my channel. So here we have the lovely corner. Um, I have a laundry bin over here. And then I got these little hooks from like Hobby Lobby. And then a painting. My friend Morgan actually made this. This is just where I keep her laundry, hang up some towels. And then the closet. She actually has a walk-in closet and we don't have a walk-in closet. I feel like we gave this room to Hazel since it was a little smaller, but I don't know if I should open this or not. It's one of those like disaster closets. No one wants to see a really messy closet. Not satisfying. But she does have some cute clothes hanging up in there. It's kind of also been like coats, suitcases, shoes, stuff we haven't gone through. So it is a nice closet that we're not gonna show. Okay, so a lot of you were asking me like, how did I lose the 
baby weight, pregnancy weight, what do I do to lose weight? I do want to say it did take a while. I feel like I finally just got back maybe like a month ago to my pre-baby weight, but it did take a really long time and I just wasn't posting like body pictures at the time. And I know like some moms do and have that confidence and that's awesome. Like I salute those moms that do that, but I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. I wish I was a little bit more brave, but I just was like, you know what? I don't have to post a bikini picture a month after I have a baby. And I just want to put that out there. It's okay. Like it's not permanent. My body did not bounce back right away. Like it's taken time. So I'm finally like posting pictures and like bathing suits or like more regular clothing. But for a while I just wasn't and I didn't feel comfortable and I didn't stress about it either. This is part of the stage of motherhood. It will go back eventually or it will go a lot closer, but I didn't overthink it. I didn't overlook at my body. Now we have this cute little feeding area. I was feeling like I was breastfeeding her a lot in this at first, and I still do. One of my best friend's mom actually made this for me. She's really artistic. I love that. I really recommend getting a rocking chair if you're making a nursery. First of all, the baby love it like being rocked, especially when they're nursing, and it definitely like helps her relax and fall asleep. So, and this one's really comfy too. Amazon. Amazon just got it. Wish this video was sponsored by Amazon, but it's not because I'm probably be going to be linking a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I want to help you guys out. Okay, so a bunch of you guys asked if I was going to be having another baby or things like that. Not anytime soon. Sorry to disappoint. I feel like a lot of times, like after someone has one baby, everyone keeps asking, like, when are you having the next one? This, that. I definitely do want to have more babies in the future, but not anytime soon. I just turned 25, some of you asked that, so I feel like I probably will want to wait a few years, maybe like kind of nearing the end of my 20s, till I have more babies. You're gonna be the cool older sister one day. One day. I think one little baby is enough for me for right now. Isn't that right? She already takes up all my time. Not trying to pop one out anytime soon, like I just I'm getting my body back and feeling more settled, so I know some people do it like right away, but I could not imagine being pregnant anytime soon. I mean, obviously it would be a blessing, but yeah, taking just some time to get adjusted to life still. Okay, so one of your questions was, what's your favorite thing about being mom? There's so many beautiful things. <laughs> I don't even really know how to explain it, but probably one of them would be like, seeing Hazel happy and like smiling and laughing. I feel like it's this like euphoric feeling. I just remember the first time she really laughed. I felt like I was like high on a drug. Seriously, it's just like the best feeling in the world when she's like really laughing or really smiling. I know a lot of people say like, oh, don't ever grow up. Like, we did a laugh or a cry. Boo, 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 boo. Or like, why can't they stay this small forever? I'm enjoying every step so much and I love watching her grow. Even when you're crying, I still love you so much. She's almost crawling. She's a little bit of a late bloomer. She hasn't crawled yet, but that's okay. She's very, very close. Maybe by the time this video goes up, she would have already crawled. So here we have the changing table, which I really love this one because it has shelves. I just keep everything here. Got little baskets, diapers, and then I have a dresser. I'm really happy I did this. Just a little dresser. Lately, I've been using the floor just because now she's like more active. But this has been definitely a really good changing table. But I keep like all the stuff for when I'm changing her over here. So wipes, rash cream, all the good stuff. And then like all her just regular clothes will be in here. So it's just convenient. And then the diaper pail, which you need to get a diaper pail. It blocks out the stank. So that's really good. It's like special made for diapers, not just a regular trash can. It's like meant to block out the diaper stink. But yeah, I like how everything kind of came together with this gold look. Then I got a little touch as princess. Okay, so one of your questions was, did I get hit with depression after I had Hazel, which is super common to have postpartum depression. I don't think I necessarily got depression, but there definitely 
were times where things felt hard. Especially at first, I was like in a diaper. Yes, you have to wear diapers after because damage down there at first. So I'm like sitting in a diaper all day, sitting on the couch, breastfeeding all day long, tired, not feeling sexy at all, that's for sure. And not even like thinking that, barely able to like brush my hair or do anything. And obviously my body is a lot different at first. So I think that's just hard is like losing sense of self, I guess, in that aspect of like who you were before, physically, mentally. Okay, so now we have this little area that I love. I got a rug also on Amazon, which was a really good deal. And this little donut play thing. I've been using this since she was a newborn and just put her under here and she loves playing with all this. I kind of made this her little toy area. I put a bunch of stuffed animals and boxes. Okay, so the last question about postpartum depression, I didn't fully answer, but I would say I think I felt more when I was actually pregnant. I don't know if it's necessarily depression, but I was crying all the time, super emotional. I think it was just something about being like so slow and feeling so tired all the time and not being able to do much about it, which was like so different from what I was before. I liked to like be active, work out all the time, always on the move. So like having that taken away from me and having no way to like be that was definitely really hard. Okay, last question. A lot of you guys were asking about Hazel's name, how I chose the name, were there other names? And I never really got into that. I thought I would have told you guys sooner, but her name was inspired by my mother, whose name was Hillary. I wanted her name to start with an H to honor my mom and be after my mom since her name was Hillary. And my mom's middle name was Click. So her name is Hazel Claire. Her last name is Ray-Ban. You got daddy's last name. Yeah, I didn't want to overcomplicate things and give her two last names. I know some people do that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just feel like Feldman Ray-Ban doesn't have the best ring to it. Someone's getting hungry, aren't you? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been a while in the making. I know I said I was gonna do this forever ago, but it takes time. Hope you guys like my nursery and maybe inspire some of you guys in your own nurseries. Let me know what you guys like the best or if anything stood out to you. And I'm always open to suggestions of what videos you wanna see next. Stay tuned for more, subscribe. Follow me on Insta, do it all. You guys know what to do. Give this a like, give it all your love. Okay, goodbye. Love you all and we'll be back soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah.